the Joe Rogan experience. Way back when, before I got sober, I had this tour. The, it was called the Don't Try This At Home Tour. And I would promote every show by saying, I will be drunk and on drugs or your money back. <laughs> like, and I'm in it. And, and, and you, you watched me get... What year was this? That it started in 2001, and, and I ran that till like 2005. And, um, and, and uh, I mean, you would just watch me get completely hammered on stage, like pounding tequila and shit. When I came out on stage, I, I would walk out with like a suitcase of, of uh, Budweiser cans and I'd toss some out of the crowd and, and I would take the can, I'd start out with one and, and I would just bash my head with it until the can exploded. And I'd be particularly proud if the can broke into two separate pieces and after i broke the one can then i would take out two cans one in each hand and go back and forth bah, 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 and and break both of them um, so i would every show i would break three beers over my head and uh i would do that like every night oh my god and 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 and, and that like what what i understand about the cte phenomenon is that you're absolutely right it's not about how hard you get hit. It's it's, it's the the accumulation of lots of little hits, and that's why yeah. football is the biggest. Did you suffer anything from that? <laughs> the, the worst part was then then like after I got sober, I started doing stand up. Like initially, there there was a period where I would do it with sparkling water cans. <laughs> like and you were doing it still. You were still beating sober. yourself in the head. <laughs> I, I did it for a little while. And, and uh, how and, many and, times do you think you've beaten yourself in the head? How many shows? You had to count them all up. Uh, hundreds. <laughs> hundreds. Oh my God. Right. And, and I mean, as, as far as I can tell, I, I, I'm in pretty good shape. But Tony Hawk told me one time. He uh, he says that um, that he found out with regard to CTE that there's uh, a gene which which will make you predisposed to Alzheimer's disease. APOE four. Yeah. Yeah, and if you have that gene, then you're you're very much at risk for yeah. CTE. But if you don't have that gene, you're considerably less at risk. Mm. And he said that when he found that out, he went and got the test and and determined that he did not have that gene. And mm. and, and and when I heard that, like, I kind of chewed on it for a while. I ended up like, like it was, it was kind of, kind of nagging at me, and I ended up like reaching back out to Tony. I said, "Hey, Tony, about that test, like, what was your, what was your plan if you did have the gene? <laughs> you can't unhit right. yourself in the head, right. you know." And he's like, "Oh, well, I didn't have a plan." I'm like, <laughs> well, like, how well, can you have a plan after the fact? Right, right? exactly. But so I'm like, I, I don't want to fucking go take that test. I don't want to know if I have that goddamn gene or not. Well, if it's been this many years afterwards, you're not suffering. You probably yeah. don't have that gene. I, I also went to. Like and now, of course, famously the, the whole CTE phenomenon. You can't find out if you have it until you've died, and they've like. Dissected. I think they can tell now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think there's a new way that they can tell before you die. But it used wow. to be that they had to wait and do an autopsy on you. Right. Well, I went to some like brain specialist kind of guy. Were you having problems? No, I just went because I was interested. And uh, doc Dr. Drew sent me to, mm. to this guy. It was actually when I was uh, the, the, in the, I was trying to get cauliflower ear as oh. like as part of part of uh, my my multimedia comedy. And I remember <laughs> telling you too that I was like, I'm a, I'm gonna do a, a crazy bit, and I try to get cauliflower ear. And I remember you telling me that. Uh, you were like, nope, I don't support that. He said, I think that cauliflower ear is something that should be earned. <laughs> you know, like, you'd, and uh, I remember thinking, oh, well, like, I, I, I became buddies with Chuck Liddell. And uh, Chuck Liddell and I got together. We made the fucking funniest, craziest video, like, uh, of him trying to get, like, I, 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 got, I, I made this helmet that like I, I designed this helmet that left my ears sticking out so it would protect my head from like headshots a little bit and my ears sticking out and and i got chuck liddell fucking sets a a, a golf ball on my ear and fucking whacks it off oh, of the golf no. <laughs> did you get 
cauliflower ear? That, no. <laughs> that, then um, <laughs> that, that we, we'd spent two days with Chuck trying to do it, and, and it just didn't work. Then I got together with Ronda Rousey and, and was on the mats with her, and she's like, her and Travis, just like roughing up my ear all day long. And, 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 uh, and they're looking at my ear. They're like, dude, we got it. That's it. You know, we got it. And then it just went away. Then I got together with Jorge Masvidal. He put his, uh, his uh, BMF belt over my ear, and he's just, like, punching oh, it against Jesus. a door. And, uh, and he's like, dude, that's it right there, man. That's cauliflower. We got it. Still no? And, and, didn't, and then, then I got together with John Jones. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, I had, like, the who's who. You're of such the a U- glutton for punishment. <laughs> I had the who's who of the UFC Hall of Fame, like, give their best shot. And everybody said, dude, we got it. And then it didn't work. Dude, John Jones blasted my ear into oblivion. Like, oh, with a <laughs> he, he took uh, what at the time was his current light heavyweight belt, <laughs> and, and, and like, and, and, <laughs> oh, yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, and he's hammering your ear, dude. He, oh, my he, god, he, he so upsettingly overdid it that my ear got, got blasted apart, and you still I, didn't get cauliflower. Dead. Oh God, it's so bloody! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude, yeah. what the fuck? We're, we're, we're not putting that. Did you get that? You good. just chipped it off. You didn't get stitched up. Ah, um, just cut that little piece off. <laughs> just chopped it off. Oh With no! Scissors. Yeah. So you have like the Evander Holyfield, <laughs> like when well, Tyson well, bit Holyfield's ear. <laughs> right, dude. That was that was an idea that I pitched for Jackass like uh, multiple times. I was like, do I want like Mike Tyson to bite a chunk? Oh! <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, my God.